I'm here today with the lovely Diana Benucci. How are you today, Diana? I'm great, thank you. Slightly chilly in the station. <laughs> it is indeed. Can you tell us a little bit about what we're doing here today? Yep, we are here today to encourage people to get their nominations in for the People of the Year Awards. It is a fantastic program, um, event that happens once a year. And um, you have until the 14th of September to get your nominations in for those local heroes who have done outstanding things. Um, the kind of people that do incredible things out of the goodness of their own hearts and just don't expect to be applauded. So it's a nice surprise for everyone um, and it's just a brilliant show. Very emotional. It's a lovely show. I know that you recently got a book deal, so how's that been going? Amazing. Uh, yes, I did. I wanted to write a book for a very long time. I studied journalism, so that's kind of my main background. Um, and I've dabbled with like writing fiction before um, and kind of tried to get a book deal on that, but then come, kind of put it aside. And I'm now writing um, a non-fiction book for teenagers, encouraging them to follow their dreams. Because um, you only have one life, so why not just reach for the stars and make it happen, as cheesy as that sounds. So um, it involves interviewing people that young people look up to that are high profile from singers to actors, sports people, and people who work in the fashion and beauty industry, YouTubers. So it's a very inspiring thing to be involved with at the moment, um, just because I'm surrounded by people that are doing incredible things. So I feel inspired to go and try and do even more. Yeah. And I know you're hanging out with Laura Whitmore recently. How was that? <laughs> uh, well, Laura was actually a contributor to my book, so it was amazing. Um, she is a fantastic presenter, a great ambassador for Ireland, a brilliant role model. So um, I met up with her in London, had a chat for the book um, to get an account of her career history, I suppose, and to find out the ins and outs of the TV world. Um, I know my own experience from working in TV, but hers is on another level because she travels the world for MTV. Um, covering massive events all the time, working with A-listers, so I wanted her take on the industry. So yeah, it was great. She's a lovely girl. And tell me, how is your boyfriend Steve? <laughs> um, yeah, Steve's good. <laughs> Nicely rejuvenated after our time in Monarch, um, and just gearing up for um, their big tour in September. Um, as you know, the band have announced um, a tour here in Ireland as well, in the UK, and they've sold out, so he's really excited about that. So yeah, he's in great form. And what's he like as a boyfriend? He's incredible. <laughs> That's like, he's perfect. <laughs> what do you do for date nights? Um, I don't know, the usual things that people do, like go to the cinema, uh, chill, watch a movie, Netflix. We can never decide anything on Netflix. <laughs> so literally we'd be like, well, we watch something. And it's always, well, we watch a comedy or a horror. And then we just never know. And then just probably end up like talking for like two or three hours. See, I don't get to see him very often because he travels a lot. So when we do, we just love like hanging out, catching up and just, yeah, it's nice. And then we go to gigs when we can. Have you got any other projects coming up? Um, there's a few things in the pipeline. I hate saying that line, but um, I can't talk about them. So, yeah. That's no problem. Thanks a million for talking to us Thank at Goss.ie. Thank you.